Hey guys, good morning and welcome back again to Bumsy Sports. Welcome back again to my channel. You guys, see this cute scarf my husband bought for me yesterday. And I think he was just so thoughtful because I keep telling him that I like this scarf, but I don't like those ones that have all those. Um, he bought Kaima fascinators as well. <laughs> yeah, he bought Kaima fascinators and then he bought me this cute. I like this one. Yeah, it's pretty, right? Yeah, it's, it's pretty. Yeah. So I, I would. We didn't go to church today. We streamed church from home. I like it. You know, I don't think there's no too much design so i like it so i want to start this video by saying to somebody here that is longer truth for another person's life that makes you think that you know you're not doing so well with your own life and is making you have lack of contentment for your own life back in the days i mean before we moved to our own house and besides my parents moved to their own house that they built to they built by themselves oh, in their 40s, right? I remember when we moved to that house, that house was not even completed. We used to pour water on the floor. Like, we used to pour water down. Sorry, sorry, mommy, sorry. Your leg, okay. We used to pour water on the floor, right? And sweep it out, sweep out the dust and everything. When that house, my dad towed the house. When that house, they cemented a couple of the rooms. We were first using wrapper safe as curtains before, you know, my mom had to go to a bar, change the curtains, do everything. It was progress. But now that, you know, we are privy to people's lives, social media has come. We are beginning to watch people's life. You see people in their 20s or in their 30s, they are flying private jets they are wearing you that's fine they are flying private jets they are wearing human hair they are moving to their houses they are showing you their house key in their 20s and in their 30s and you're like oh my god what am i doing with my own life i remember when we used to live in a compound right just like as i'm living now when we used to live in a compound our neighbors then like you know when people are really kind to yeah you're enjoying it excuse mommy i'm talking okay i remember when you know we used to live in a compound just like as i'm living now right there was this family that was close to us it was a two bed the same way with us but i think they were five in number and you know parents just struggling to meet up with the children's needs in our own home too we had a lot of our uh, what they call it like relations and then it was also four of us our parents my mom wake up in the morning go to bank my dad wake up in the morning go to work as well just literally you know humble living and all of that and as time began to progress for a lot of them i saw them put their hard work be diligent go to church and everything and you know these people that literally used to beg to feed I think the father heard about you know um, um visa lottery to america and all and he played it and that how he was able to take all his family members including his five children they now live in america like we connect on instagram and when we chat it's like oh my god like the thing used to bring back a lot of memories so one of the daughters actually sent me like invites to her wedding and it just got us talking and different like oh boy you're so grown i'm like yeah it's so... and it just made me realize that there's a process to everything to be very honest with you that you are not achieving that thing now even with youtube you know we always look at other people's views and be like hey god when will it get to me it might not be written in your books of destiny that right now you will be getting millions and millions of views but it's just that just stay consistent you will definitely get to where you're going so as long as you're diligent consistent don't backbite don't put your hand into anything that you know will alter your destiny don't you know make money out of people's tears people's pains and all of that like just do it the right way god will definitely bless you and i 
lot of neighbors as well that we used to live back then in Portaco, right? I saw a lot of them like, you know, they have married. There's a lady that had five boys in that compound. I thought, I think the second son just got married and all. I'm just like, oh my God, look at us so back then and look at us right now. I know what is, you know, there is a Japa fever right now. Everybody is traveling. Everybody is getting new passports and different things. And it feels like people are migrating. And you're looking at your bank account like, can I afford to relocate right now? Maybe yours might just come by freebie. You possibly might get a job or a family member that will sponsor everything free from start to finish. I've heard stories. You possibly might get a job that will just relocate you, relocate everything about you. Your uh, this thing will take care of your flight ticket, take care of everything. You possibly might even get sponsorship through maybe a family member. See, things happen to people for free, even for car safe. Maybe you're just saying, oh my God, look at me, I'm, at the, I'm not driving a car. Look at my people that I'm watching. Or people, look, look at people that are my age, me that I'm watching, you know, are driving car right now. It's just my, just, you don't know what is written in your destiny. Just be patient and be content. But I'm not also going to say this, be inspired. Like, be inspired. When you watch other people, don't watch them with, um, what will I say? them with like envy and um, jealousy and hate yeah just watch with a very clear conscience and be inspired you would definitely definitely see life is in stages and season right now we have had a little bit of august break rain is about to start it will continue life is in season christmas will come now hamata will come and up and that's the same thing some people are destined to move into their house that they have built and their mansion in their 40s in their late 40s in their early 40s in their 30s in their 20s don't alter your destiny by trying to longer trust for another person's life and change the course of your life that god has you know destined for you because he said before you were formed i knew you you know i knew you before look at my baby you know with all the bleeding and everything like god knew that she was going to come to this earth and put smiles on a lot of people's face my face your face you know my parents place her grandparents face my in-laws face god knew so you guys this is what i just to tell you this morning because i was just gisting with that our neighbor and i was like see yeah, god is awesome god is awesome and our parents live such a content life honestly you would see you know a couple of them in one bedroom apartment with like four children or three children and they were happy they would break bread together and eat they were going to ch see it was when i was born that and i'm the last born well, when I'm, i was born that my father was able to change his car i can also remember vividly it was when i was i think it was it 10 years or so my mom was able to buy her first car her first car now nah, it's got her problem now look at me in my 30s i'm even driving car now because of our lives have changed you know so this is just here to encourage someone and tell someone please don't use a uh, what they call this thing if it's the me mm -mm. don't use longer throat for that person's life as you are watching them and alter the course of your destiny speak negative things or put your hand in in what you're not supposed to put your hand in just allow the course of your life stay content stay uh, you know if even me so i'll talk to myself as well as much as you know we are humans i would desire something for myself but sometimes i will see myself like feeling bad like oh my god i should have i should also be able to achieve this but this is me also talking to myself as well don't think i'm so perfect i'm just here to advise you it's also me talking to myself because sometimes i'm like oh my god it's happening for everybody around me when is it going to happen for me and i also forget the things that are happening for me that was once a prayer point that god is doing right now so anyways guys let's carry on with this vlog waiting for patience to get back but let me just fix up breakfast for everyone and i hope you guys enjoy watching leave your thoughts in the comment section and i'm happy to always reply you guys a few moments later hey guys and patience is just came back and she's still outside i'm trying to prep the children i told them already that patience is on her way let me show you their reaction <laughs> let me show i should bring the key why okay you can bring the key what is your patience 
Okay. They cannot be asking for biscuits this morning when we are going to the office. No, 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 no. It's, a, it's a Monday morning. I have to mm -mm, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. Be serious. Everything is not clean. Hey guys, good morning. Um, we are ready for work, myself and my children. You know, it's been a routine for me to take them to the office this um, um, summer holiday period. And of course, you know, the days we work at home, their lesson teacher comes around to take them on their classes but anyways i am off to work and i want to wish you guys a blessed and blessed week blessed fruitful and prosperous week you know i pray that you know that thing that you solely seek for in this week be it peace of mind you know be it um what they call it reconciliation with someone that has hurt you or someone that you know you have um, what they call it hurt and you didn't know you hurt the person and the person just stopped talking to you or something be it something that you know you truly truly desire i pray that you seek and you find it but anyways guys let me head to the office i definitely will speak to you guys when we are back or before we are back whichever one i'll be looking for a particular biscuit and i think after work today i'm going to hunt for that biscuit literally like <laughs> I started seeing it from one content creator's um, page to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. And I even chatted NG. I was like, is this biscuit really what they say it is? And she was like, hmm, it's Yoku. I should go and buy it. And I bought it and I've just been hooked to that bis biscuit. I've looked for it everywhere. Patient was telling me that she saw it in her area, but the lady refused to collect them um, transfer. So hopefully before we get back home, after we are done from the office, I will see if I can find it any supermarket around my office there. But anyways guys, let's be going. Been back from work but i went to do what they call it the light has gone off and especially let me change to the impact you guys i'm back home but we changed off and then we headed out again for everywhere i looked for fab biscuits i did not see the biscuit so this is the biscuit i was actually talking about right <sighs> Mommy. This is the this is the biscuit I was actually talking about. Fab biscuit. It feels like what is just trending right now. And to think that it's just 400 naira, honestly. <laughs> I was just saying that the way people are beginning to demand for it, because I didn't see it in a lot of shops. 
but the way people are beginning to demand for it let it not be that it will now increase the way maryland biscuits increase they're not because my children love cookies i love cookies as well but anyways you guys lovely gifts actually made me smile today and i'm just so thankful honestly i'm thankful for the good people that i have met here on youtube i mean shout out to you lovely gift and thank you so much you're such an amazing friend and i'm so glad that youtube brought you my way but anyways i went to do just a quick shopping because i want to make ukodo ukodo is yam uh, what do you call it goat meat and um, yam so yeah the should be ready husband is back from work what do you want to do yam soup Yeah, okay. you eat them eh? with goat's meat. I went to go and buy fresh goat's meat for you. Came back from work, changed. Went to go and look for goat's meat for you, my man. My man. By the way, let me just get cooking. I'll speak to you guys. Hey guys, good morning. You guys, I'm just seated in the car waiting for Auntie Patience. I'm supposed to distribute um, Ashwabi, so she has just gone to help me get it out. So I just seated and just waiting for her, right? Before heading to work. Of course, I'm carrying my children. But you guys, I'm not happy this morning, and it's just, I don't know so i will tell you guys what happened right so a friend of mine i will not really say a friend of mine i would say someone that we had a friendship and you know distance has made the friendship just go quiet and yes, silent yes. and all of course i've moved to lagos yeah. i've gotten married i could see that she had gotten married as well so you know yeah just once once you see me on instagram and all but because of you know we had a relationship and all i'm still cordial i'm still myself you know not like we talk regularly or we talk all the time we don't talk all the time we don't talk regularly right so you know she had messaged me to tell me of course i know nigeria the way it is right now financial issues and whatnot she's married and you know blah 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 blah. it's not easy for herself and her husband and all but that um she's trying to do something for her business and whatnot come and sit down sit down and wait for the patient she's coming she's trying to do something for her business and all of that right and if i can please just borrow her fifty thousand <coughs> Okay, guys, I carried fab biscuits to work. Thank you. My fab biscuits. to him. Have you given the address? Oh, yeah, come and write it for me. Come and stay on top of the bonnet and write it. Francesca. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Is that rain that fell yesterday? No. Oh, yeah, stay. I was interrupted. No. But, okay, thank you. I was interrupted, but um, long and short of the story, I borrowed her the 50,000 and I said she was going to pay back in a month's time. I have, you know, given a grace. I didn't go back to say after a month she should give me back the money. I know. I gave a grace for at least what they call it, two months, and I reminded her, you know, and she said, Oh, she has not forgotten, she'll pay back the money. I know, and I have reminded her again this morning because this is making it three months. I have reminded her again this morning and what she said to me on the call was like, ah, well, I don't say you don't need it now. Uh -uh, you don't need this kind of money now. Why did they stop me for this kind of money? You need them. 
And I'm like, this is how people just sit down and take advantage of people like... The thing really put me off balance, like, honestly. It put me off balance. You came and asked me for... I had no spo I, I usually don't even borrow. Like, I don't borrow. But it was just based on, oh, we're pretty close, well, we're a lot younger, you know. Everybody has gone on with their life. For her to really come and ask me then, it was really big. You know, a part of my one was selling me that time. I was selling me, just give the one that you can just let go. Don't borrow the full amount. And this is the first time in many years that I will actually say I'm borrowing somebody money, right? And expecting you to give me back the money. Because I would just say, I don't borrow. I don't, I don't even owe. I don't, I don't. If I have a pending bill on my net, I must, I must try and pay it back. You know, so... Just hearing like you don't need them now, nah. but see, you don't need it now. Nah. Watch your YouTube now. Nah. Ah. You where they go market, they go shop with how much. Like you are saying it like a joke, but it's irritating. Like it's so irritating. But I usually don't wake up with my day and I start it, you know, irritated and all because it usually now spoils the remaining part of my my week or my day. Not really my week, but my day. It will now spoil the remaining part of my week. So i'm just taking it as a seed because i'm believing god for something and i've just told god that you should take away the anger that i feel and the irritation that i feel in my heart this morning you know and it should just give me joy and you know let me just let it go because i know that that money is not coming back but in my head i'm like so you sit down you watch me and you just presume like you know eh, okay this one can carry this amount of money and go and shop then the person is okay you guys this is me just being honest and vulnerable with you guys but i'm actually very pissed my phone number she's the one that will pay for delivery okay ma. so you can just call her this money let her know if she's available that you are bringing a shirt before her okay ma. okay thank you uh -huh, thank you so you guys, I'm usually patient, so yeah, put them. So I'm usually not, you know, I don't wake up with my day usually pissed, but today, like, you know, you can't borrow someone money and the person that wants to take advantage of you and um, we're going and the person that wants to take advantage of you. But anyways, it's well, you know, it's well. I have what I, let me just go to work, honestly. Let me just go to work. I'm actually pissed off. But you guys, let me know in the comment section, like, you know. I'm actually pissed off. And. Okay. My children said, let's go. So let's go. I'll see you guys in another vlog. Like, I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to continue. Let's go. Well, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Come back.